the jobs report, earnings, and runaway interest rates. Let's get into it. The October jobs report revealed the weakest employment gains in four years. Now for the last two reports, jobs crushed expectations. And now we're seeing the labor department revise away 112,000 jobs, erasing almost a third of what was reported. But the real issue is how inefficient these government agencies are at capturing the data. Do they have a vested interest in manipulating the numbers? Or are their methods outdated, just ill-equipped for such massive inflows of undocumented immigrants? Now before we sound the alarm to the recession, let's put all this into context. Now when it comes to the job numbers, we need to take into account the labor strikes, the hurricanes, which pretty much distorted the numbers and leads us to believe this is a temporary disruption. So what about the other segments of the economy? The rate of inflation, including energy and food, continues to fall. GDP growth is starting to cool down, although it still remains above the average trend. This suggests the economy is just not as hot, although that usually changes going into the holiday seasons. So far, 75% of S&P 500 companies have reported a positive earning surprise with quarterly earning estimates suggesting a smooth rise into 2025. Earnings are strong and projections continue to rise into the next year. But the most important reports came from the mega cap tech sector. As expected, Apple, Amazon, Microsoft, Google, and Meta crushed earning expectations. The only concerns about how massive AI spending actually converts into revenue and how the market is impacted by tariffs, regulation, housing, taxes, pretty much everything that has to do with the coming election. The amount of stocks participating in the rally has fallen off a cliff. Put buying is starting to accelerate. Volatility in the bond market is picking up, suggesting bond buyers demand a premium to hold US debt. With all the uncertainty, the VIX is rising, the fear index is picking up momentum, suggesting investors are waiting for a confirmed victory. Now the market might be pricing in a Trump victory, lower taxes, more fiscal stimulus, but it is the uncertainty of tariffs that drive investors to believe inflation might be coming back. And this is why long-term interest rates are starting to rise, tightening financial conditions, hurting mortgage demand, business activity, and any financing that has to do with borrowing long-term. So what is the takeaway? The economy is not facing a recession. Growth is slowing, but not collapsing. Inflation is cooling. Earnings are solid. But the uncertainty about fiscal spending and an unresolved election process may be the needle that breaks the camel's back in the short run. But don't worry, the Fed's coming to the rescue November 7th. More cuts, more liquidity.